How's it going? Fox back again. Another request today. It is for this. It's Chromio, Needy Girl, the Earstrip and Wu Tu Tech remix. Um, it was put forward to me by Leonardo Mendez. He wanted me to do the bass with either Massive, Massive or Silent. I managed to do it best with Silent. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is it with a little drum loop. I've created a little sub layer as well. So yeah, this is the sound we're going to be focusing on. It's the brighter, sort of higher part of the sound. I'll quickly talk about the sub that I made. This was just helping reinforce the low end of the sound. It's a real basic sub. It's just five voices of a sine wave, one octave down. Four voices of a square wave, two octaves down. And with a low pass filter, just cutting everything off back to 16.47 hertz. This is what the sub sounds like on its own. Some of the notes are a bit longer, that's how it sounded in the uh, original. The sub was sort of, uh, the notes towards the end of the bar were stretched out longer than the ones in the sound that we are going to be making. So that's the sub done. This is what we're going to be making. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize this. Uh, it's two separate parts, two totally different parts. One of them's got a filter envelope, the other one hasn't. Uh, one of them's got some pitch modulation as well, giving us a sort of click at the start of the sound. I'm going to solo each part as we do it. So this is part A. I started off with a Q pulse, or the thinnest pulse that you've got. I had four voices. Left re-trigger kept on, uh, phase on zero, detuned a little bit. Stereo near enough around to zero because it's a bass patch. Two octaves down. We'll set up the amp envelope for A to start with. We want it to be quite a plucky envelope, as most of these deep house bass ones are. Uh, no attack, tiny bit of release to stop clicking, and then this was around about 4.2. Oscillator 2 is at Sawtooth. Uh, six voices for this. The re-trigger was unchecked on this one. Stereo on full. The saw wave, I could tell, was taking up the most of the spectrum, the wider part of the sound. This is two octaves down also. Phase on zero. Detune, probably about the same as what we had for A1. You can hear the saw waves taking up the wider part of the sound, the two mixed together. So yeah, <clears throat> nothing to it, as always. Um, I've done something a little bit different with the effects. I've got a chorus on. don't normally do that, but it did help sort of smudge everything together, make it sound more like the original. I use a low-pass filter, 24 decibels per octave as standard. Um, filter out it's at eight yeah the starting point for the cutoff for this one i had quite low around about 3.6 hertz a bit of drive you're not going to hear anything until we use a filter to open the envelope up we're going to use mod envelope one to modulate the cutoff of a that's this knob the way we're going to do this we're going to use the attack time to on zero to open the filter up instantly and then the decay time is going to tell us how long it wants to close you have to make sure the sustain is on zero tiny bit of release and then you just control the length of the sound with the decay so just push it out until it sounds right once we've dialed in the destination amount of course which was around about 7.3 something like that so yeah, the decay. Sounds good, that's roughly where I had it, nice and snappy. Didn't use any LFOs, didn't even change it to mono legato, you can do if you want, but didn't need it. That's part A. 
so we're going to solo part B. This is totally different, as I said. Uh, same sort of envelope, though. Plucky-ish envelope. The decay was a little bit less on this one, around about just under four. I used a sine wave. Seven voices a unison. Octave zero. Volume I pulled down a slightly from its original starting position. Same with the stereo. Center it a little. We're going to use a, a filter with a quite a resonant peak with a real snappy envelope to give us a click. Um, I used four voices of a sine wave on this one. This one was an octave down. And check the retrig on both, although we're not introducing any detune, so it doesn't really have that much effect. Stereo all the way to zero on this one, so it's dead, dead centered. Very quiet, not really adding much to the sound at the minute until we add this envelope and the filter. So yeah, a low pass filter for this one as well. This one was a 24 decibel per octave also. Try that again. Resonance. Cut off all the way around to about 3.6, 3,600 hertz, something like that. Still not much going on. We're going to use a real, <coughs> a real plucky envelope to close the filter off, which is going to give us a click. And um, we want to set this for cut off for B. <coughs> Excuse me. I had this roughly on about four. The destination amount. That means it's going to close the filter off. Not all the way. Probably round to about five. Um, no attack, no sustain, no release. Same again, just the decay. It's really, really short. Starting to get there, we need to modulate the pitch for B as well. This is the pitch of oscillator B1 and B2. This wants to go around to roughly the same amount as the cutoff for B, about four. Now, this real snappy envelope is going to pitching it up and pitching it down, as well with that resonant peak, it's going to create that click that we wanted. Real easy peasy. So mix the two parts together. That click real helps the sound give a bit of punch, which it had in the original. Control the length of the pitch. If you do it too long, there's decay too long, you can actually hear it sort of de decreasing the pitch. So you're just under one or hovering around one is perfect. So yeah, just a couple of effects. Um, I had a chorus on it, as I said. You wouldn't think you're going to use a chorus on a bass like this, but I did. The delay I had on roughly five and a half seconds. This is how far the delay signaled is behind the original. Right on zero, so the modulation isn't taken into effect, so the depth really d doesn't really have any say in it. Feedback on zero. <coughs> width pull the draw back down I'll put bring the chorus in and out <coughs> as I said just help smudge everything together make it sound more rounded I'll then just added some basic compression ratio was where it comes as standard fresh I to pull down to about minus DB very very quick attack about 20 milliseconds <coughs> and a release uh, where it comes to standard 150. <coughs> I've also got some compression on the channel, same sort of thing, 2 to 1 ratio. Quite a snappy attack, uh, 220 milliseconds of release. Threshold's a bit lower on the Ableton one. That's it, that's the sound done. Real straightforward, nice and easy. So I'll introduce the sub level with it now. And the drums.
Okay, there you have it. That is Airstrip Muay Two Tech remix of the Chromio track. What was it? Needy Girl. So, yeah, as always, make sure you subscribe if you like this. Plenty more tutorials to come. Uh, download this patch for free in the link, and also there will be a link to the track where you can compare it to the original. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>